guys, my name is Mallory Westbrook. I'm a staff engineer at Intelligent Concrete, and I'm so excited today to talk to you about internal curing for concrete pavement. So I read this awesome tech brief. It was written by Jason Weiss in 2016 um, for the Federal Highway Administration, and it really talks about some of the basics of internal curing, some of the benefits, um, and how it can be used and a little bit about where it's been used, the benefits that we're seeing actually in the field. So um, John did a great video a little while back about how to read through a technical paper to really get the information you're looking for. Um, and that's what I did here. So first to give you a little bit of background on internal curing, I mean, traditional curing is pretty common practice, right? It's ponding the concrete slab. It's applying water. Um, to the surface of the concrete. Uh, what's cool about internal curing is it actually uses reservoirs via things like lightweight aggregate, um, super absorbent polymers, nanoparticles, and hydrogels um, to actually supply water to the cementitious matrix after the concrete has set. So a great little um, picture here that shows the difference between traditional curing on the left and internal curing um, with this, for this um, tech brief, they really focus on lightweight aggregate. So some of the benefits we're seeing with using internal curing, um, of course, we're going to get increased hydration because we are um, supplying water internally into the concrete. Um, we're not affecting that water to cement ratio. Um, and another big thing is we're actually seeing reductions in autogenous shrinkage. So um, the water around the lightweight aggregate is going to work to fill the pores that normally lead to autogenous shrinkage. Um, we're also going to see a reduction in your permeability, your diffusion, because you are increasing the hydration in the interfacial transition zone right around that lightweight aggregate. Um, it also, you know, this paper talks about how internal curing, because it does provide increased hydration, is especially beneficial when you're using a high amount of supplementary cementitious materials, because a lot of times um, with high volumes, of that supplementary cementitious materials, you're getting longer hydration times where internal curing is providing excess hydration. It kind of helps offset that. Um, and then the paper really goes into pavement applications. So internally cured concrete has mostly been used for bridge decks, but it is starting to be used on things like continuously reinforced concrete pavement, jointed concrete pavement, um, and then it talks about using it for patching and full depth panel repair. Um, the next thing I thought was really cool was it talks about the mix design for internal curing. So specifically when using lightweight aggregate, it's pretty much the exact same um, mix design as far as, you know, your air content, your water and your coarse aggregate. And really what you need to do is you just replace some of your fine aggregate, that sand you're using, with some pre-wetted lightweight fine aggregate um, to achieve the internal curing. So it gives this figure here talking about the proportions you're using um, with a typical mixture compared to with internally cured. And as I said, you're just replacing some of that fine aggregate with the lightweight aggregate. So pretty easy. Some practical applications, you know, it, this um, tech brief really looked into a lot of studies on um, the benefits of internally cured concrete. And what it found was you get that reduction in the autogenous shrinkage, you get a reduced rate of dry shrinkage, reduced elastic modulus, and improved hydration. Um, you've also, in some cases, seen a strength increase. And um, the coefficient of thermal expansion reduction. So all of this is going to add up to um, a concrete that is lasting longer and more durable. So it gives some examples here. All of these are in the Dallas Fort Worth area, but it's different sections of highway um, pavement where you are seeing, you know, like I said, that reduced shrinkage. Um, one of these cases, it was trying to achieve a high early strength. The internal curing had no adverse effects on the high early strength, and it still um, resulted in re reduced shrinkage cracking. So really cool, promising technology. 
um, that is starting to be used more and more in the industry um, for, you know, concrete pavements. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thanks, guys.